got to be fast, got to be in and out and in and out, just keep busy. Should be good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action quarterfinal number two. Introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks and weighing in at 15 stones, 7 pounds, 10 ounces, 88 fight record, 75 wins, 45 inside the scheduled distance, just 8 defeats and 3 draws. Ladies and gentlemen, three time, three weight champion of the world, lights out, James Tony. And representing Team UK and fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks, trimmed with silver, weighing in at 16 stone, 6 pounds, 13 ounces, 7 fight records, 6 wins, 2 inside the scheduled distance, and just 1 defeat from Milton Keynes, England. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Timekeeper at the bell is Mr. Bob Edger up and our referee in charge of the action is Mr. Victor Lachlan. This is three three minute rounds, quarter final number two. Okay, guys, you know the rules. Be careful with the heads, obey my commands at all times, defend yourselves at all times. God bless, touch gloves. There you go, good lad. And this is who they come to see. Not Matt Leg, I'm afraid. Sorry, Matt. The excitement is for the guy in the other corner, James Tony, the three-weight world champion, 45 years old, one of the biggest names in boxing. 26th of October, 1988. That's when Tony turned professional. It was a night when Nigel Benn stopped Anthony Logan in a two-round tear-up. And also the night a young cruiserweight in Sheffield won the Central Area title, stopping Danny Lawford in two rounds. That young cruiserweight, of course, Johnny Nelson. He was active the night that James Tony turned pro. And here he is, 25 years later, Johnny and all those other guys, long gone. Tony still going. Yeah, he looks as though he's trying to get himself into decent shape for the occasion. He's over here to, to chase the, the trophy, but more importantly for him, it'll be the money. So, I mean, leg does have talent but he seems to be a guy who kind of floats in and out of boxing as the notion takes him whereas uh, boxing has been Tony's life all of his life and uh, that'll make a big difference but a good positive start from Tony's landed a couple of educated shots already yeah Matt, Matt floats in and out because he has knee problems he retired for six years after a defeat against Alvin Miller came back had to go again and then came back in July with a four rounder he's had he's had a one four round fight in five years that is not exactly ideal preparation for going up against the likes of James Tony. it really isn't I wonder if he'd ever have dreamed his eighth fight would be against James Tony. I mean we've said that uh, work rate is important in prize fighter but I think the most important thing is skill using technique and not burning up energy and he is Tony is the master at that he's so difficult to catch cleanly and this is really a positive, impressive start from him. Yeah, missing badly there with the right hand. That leg, while well, he's been away from the ring, has been doing a bit of acting. Leg, so we've had Ray Winston, an actor who used to box. And we've got a bit of a boxer who used to do a bit of acting as well in the ring, but Tony continuing just to, to pick him off pretty much at will. Yeah, you can see the technique and the reflexes too of, of Tony. He, he can anticipate what's coming. Nice little that. shot right hand there. That was much better. But he seems able to anticipate what an opponent is going to do and deals with it. Good opening round so far for Tony. Rock with that right hand. Quick switch on the left of the body as well. And he's come in the lightest he's been as a heavyweight since he boxed he found a holy field 10 years ago Tony he did have a cruiserweight fight against Dennis Lebedev a couple of years ago so he was lighter then but this is this would suggest that he's taking this very seriously indeed yeah well he's not going to come all the way over here you know to, to be put out in the early stages he's over here to win this he's got a full attention he's got himself in as good shape as he possibly could and the old tricks and the technique still there a bit of ambitious with that right hand He's probably coasting now because he believes, as I do, he's done enough to win the opener. Well, that leg got through the first round. 
without too many scares. So he'll be happy enough about that. And that might just blow some of the cobwebs away. Now he can settle down. But Tony was just pacing himself. Seen it all before. Which you you practice one time with the ref. Well, it's difficult to, how do you advise a seventh fight novice, uh, you know, what to do against James Tony? Uh, what, what, what can you say? He, he, here he comes. So he uh, just out of his depth, didn't quite know how to cope with the, the little clever attacks, the punches from all the different angles from Tony. And Tony just seems to know when to put the pedal down, when he's done enough. He just eased off in the last half minute of the round. So they'll be happy. Well, Matt legs up off his stool already. That's a call for 10 seconds. And I wonder if he'll go for a little bit here. He was very cautious and respectful there, and quite rightly so, but caution and respect will not get him the upset win here. Not over three rounds. He's going to have a go here, Leg. Let's see what he does. And he's certainly coming out with a little bit more ambition, but that means he might just get open. Might be left open, and if he is open, maybe Tony will find him. See, he was caught early in the opening round with a decent left hook. And I think maybe that put him on the defensive a little bit. He knows any mistakes he makes are going to be punished. There's a nice little feints there from Tony. I mean, a mile past his best, but you can still see up the tricks there, the technique. Falling short with the jab. In that leg. Tony just closing in. Landing the better shots again. And the leg just sending a whistling left hook across the bow there. Just a warning shot. And Tony was open to another one there as well. So there are openings here for leg if he can exploit them. But he's got to put his foot down. Yeah, he's got to take the initiative a little bit more. He's got to believe the punches are going to land when he throws them. Just needs a little bit more belief. He's reacting to what Tony's doing at the moment. Tony not doing an awful lot in this second round, though. And they're covering up nicely and just keeping a bit of distance and forcing Tony to chase him. And again, stalemate. Oh, okay, I'm not too stale about that right hand that got through. No, I've, I've still liked what Tony's been doing, you know, you can see the technique, he, he's, he's judging the range so well, that's why so many of the leg punches that are missing, and the left hook body shot, it's mixing them up. And leg trying to turn it into a tear up, and Tony cuffing him a couple of times in reply. Now, full credit to leg, I mean, that was a good bust, okay, nothing clean landed, but he's giving it a real goal, and look, chopping right hand from Tony just so, so difficult to catch cleanly Tony that's always been the case good left hook there from Leg well what I like about Leg in this second round is he was he was way too respectful in that first round he's come and given it a real go in this second round and for all the superior skills of Tony Jim is he working hard enough? Is he doing enough to win this round? And a big right hand comes in from Leg, and Tony says, come on, let's have a bit more of that. Leg doing well in the last half minute, but I thought we saw a lot of good technique up to that point. He certainly comes off the gas in the last minute of both the rounds we've seen. He thinks he's done enough. Yeah, but I still think the smarter work from Tony. But that was much better from Matt Leg. <laughs> Now listen, give me the eye, give me the eye. Now listen to them, alright? This is yours. You've got to throw the shots in this round. You win this round, you've won the fight. Right? Well, that's the oh, advice. Right, you heard it, he's getting there, and he's got yeah. Scott Welch, the old British and Commonwealth yeah. champion, yeah. in his corner. Okay. One round. That's what they think, Jim. They think he's taken that second round. Yeah, well, he finished it well, but. Uh, I liked uh, Tony up to, to the last half minute or so. So uh, Leg has to start a little bit earlier, a little bit more confidently, with the knowledge too that Tony is liable to come off the gas in the last minute of the round. So a big start is what he needs here. That was a closer round, the second, but I still feel he has it all to do.
Well, let's see. As the shorts get readjusted. The last round, James Tony, the legend, up against Matt Legg. The novice. And I wonder if Tony got sent out with a flea in his ear because he started very sharply here. And this could turn into a real burn up now. Well, Tony knows he had caught with a lot more punches than he fancied doing in that second round. Picking the pace up now. Well, this is a blistering start. And he's looking very, very sharp indeed. Maybe he did coast his way through that second round. Maybe he is trying to just pace himself over the night. But if, his, if he lands much more like that on that leg, we may not need the judges. That right leg, that right hand counter. Leg was stood up. Tony picking his shots, taking his time, looking for the big one over the top. Leg's in a lot of trouble here. And Victor Lachlan says that'll do it. And Victor Lachlan got that one spot on. Was the class more waiting to see from Tony? Terrific finish, I think. Victor Lachlan did the right thing. I'd given Tony the first two rounds. I didn't see any signs that Leg could make a, a, a great impression on Tony. So good shout, perfectly timed stoppage. But I tell you what, Tony has proved in that one. He still has a lot to offer. And uh, Maybe not patriotic, but I think it's good for the tournament that the star goes through to the, 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 the semi-final because that's who most of the people have come to see. But that, I thought, was a terrific performance from James Tony. And such style, the way to finish it as well. Oh, I mean, it was an extraordinary finish, just shaking the hand of another legend there in Larry Holmes. I mean, he knew once he'd got him with that right-hand counter that Leg was in trouble, and the finish was just pinnacle. That was the one that did all the damage. Yep, yeah, he saw the reaction to the legs, and then he goes, works the body to get the hands down so that he can get more headshots in to finish the job. What a pro. Terrific. OK, 45 years of age. But I tell you, not bad for a middle-aged pro, is he? I mean, there you go. The body shot is there. Get the hands down then get the, the finishing shots on and at that point that was a thumping right hand to finish good shout the referee Lachlan and Matt Legg can at least say hey you know what I shared a ring with one of the greats of world boxing